I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm going to introduce you to some of the most beautiful snakes that inhabit the California coast. The grasslands of the California coast blanket the landscape with a beauty that must be experienced to be truly appreciated. Today we are exploring the outskirts of the Santa Cruz Mountains in search of the snake species that call this rich habitat home. Uh, just over my shoulder here, tucked down in between the hills, is a pond. This is probably the perfect place to find some reptiles and amphibians. Let's head down there and see what we can find. Anywhere that you find a water supply, there is an even better chance you will find a delicious series of food options. From fresh California nude eggs, to a plentiful platter of Pacific chorus frogs. Look at that, you see how he's puffing up his sides right there? He's basically saying, I'm a big guy, put me back in the water. Very cool to come across any sort of little amphibians out here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I'm gonna let this guy go back in the water, ready? Ready for the hop? If you are a snake, this ecosystem is definitely your buffet line. Yes, yes! The most frequently encountered slithering creature we came across was the Santa Cruz garter snake. In total, we caught seven in a little under an hour. The one you're about to witness was without question the biggest of the bunch. Double catch, double catch. Santa Cruz garter snake, check it out. Woo! Dove off the edge of that hill there and managed to nab two snakes at exactly the same time. This is absolutely awesome. Now, this is one of the most common snake species that you'll find here in the grasslands of the Santa Cruz Mountains. I really want to take a look at the giant one, so I'm going to put the, the little one down, okay? Non-venomous, don't worry, he's not going to bite you, Mark. Gone. And it's unbelievable how quick they can disappear in the grass. And this is the one that I saw first, and this is a really good size Santa Cruz garter snake. Now these snakes were real close to a little pond right here that has some California newts in it and that's what these snakes are feeding on. Now the California newt is a very toxic little amphibian but these snakes have built up a resilience to that toxicity and it's one of the only species that's out here that can eat them. If something else comes across and eats one of those newts there's a good chance it's gonna die. Now one way to easily identify the Santa Cruz garter snake is look at that beautiful orange stripe running down the length of the body. My goodness is that not beautiful? You look just like the middle of the freeway. Black and a yellow line running down your back. That's pretty cool. Now, I never recommend that you go out and try to pick up any species of snake, but if you are gonna go out and catch a snake, make sure you identify it first. This is not a species that's gonna bite you. It's non-venomous. You're probably gonna get pooped on, but at the end of the day, it's just a great experience to have with a cool snake that lives here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and head off and see what other species we can find. Looking for snakes in the tall hillside grasses can be incredibly disorienting. Your eyes begin to play tricks on you, and every gust of wind through the dancing blades becomes the next potential capture. Snakes are masters of camouflage, capable of disappearing into the sea of grasses before your mind even registers what it saw. This next snake is one of the most perfectly cryptic specimens you can hope to encounter. And if it wasn't for diving head first, it definitely would have eluded it's time in front of the camera. Got a snake, got a snake. Oh, it's a gopher snake. Hold on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is one of the snakes that's pretty common to come across, but you don't usually catch because look at this. He's just getting buried down into the grass. Perfectly camouflaged. I just saw his tail starting to disappear. I'm losing him. Hold on. All right, I got him. Got him. Wow. That. that is a Pacific gopher snake. How beautiful is that snake? All right, let's, uh, let's move down up off the hillside here. And this is absolutely the perfect environment to find a snake like this. They love dry, arid grasslands. We've got some you know, basic tree overhangs, lots of stuff to hide underneath. Uh, and the camouflage is absolutely perfect. I mean, here, look at this. Put him down on the ground here. He blends right in to all these dry grasses and all this light tan soil. Look at that, absolutely disappears. You get this guy out in the grassland like you have up here. When he took off, all I saw was the backside of his tail. Look at that, 
how smooth they just move across the surface of the ground like that. All right, buddy, come back here. Now, the patterning on the gopher snake is very distinct. They have this great brown and yellow checkering that runs down the full length of the body. And you see how shiny this snake is? You may think that it's slimy, but it's not. It's, it's completely dry, but it's silky smooth. Unbelievable how smooth this snake is. Now uh, the gopher snake gets its name because it loves to go into burrows after its prey. So if you're a mouse or a vole or anything that's out in this meadow, this snake will come into your home and go after you for dinner. Uh, these guys are closely related to fox snakes. And one real cool feature about this snake is that like a fox snake, they will rattle the end of their tails when they feel threatened. So let's say I just came up across this guy and he was laying there and he decided, okay, I'm gonna try to back you off. He'd sit there and rattle that tail. And unfortunately, people sometimes mistake them for rattlesnakes and then they end up getting killed. But this snake is completely harmless. They, as you can see, are pretty calm, very rarely bite, although they will show defense mechanisms where they'll kind of rear back up and show you their mouth and <laughs> they will hiss, but this one, is really being pretty cool to hang out with. What a great find, the Pacific gopher snake. One reptile that I really hoped we'd come across exploring here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Have you guys seen the fox snake video yet? If not, make sure to check it out at the end and tell me which snake you think is cooler. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. See you later, buddy. If you thought that was one wild adventure, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel and check out these other episodes so you can stick with us on this season of Breaking Trail.